Hey there everybody, how you doing? It's George aka Agent86 and we got a question from Derek T. My Matricom G-Box keep refreshing weather and I cannot stop it or remove it. When I try to go to another page it keeps bringing me back to the top the refreshing weather every five seconds or so. We like this comment and replied. <clears throat> you have two solutions. You can either install the firmware from this video or you can easily just install the Nova Launcher and make that your default. I will make a video showing you how to do just that. So Derek T, this video is for you. How to install the Nova Launcher on your G-Box Q2. All right, so here we go. We got this Matricom G-Box Q and it has the annoying refreshing weather. The easiest way to go ahead and get rid of this is just to change the launcher on it. There are some tricks uh, mentioned in the comments where you can go ahead and reset your router and such. And then you can change the zip code on the weather, whatever. But then you're stuck with this ugly browser, which I've always hated anyways. We're just going to get rid of it. And you got two options again. You can either, one, follow the video. And I'm going to put a card right here. You can see that original video. Or you can take the easy way. What I'm going to do is first go to the Google Play Store. Once you're inside the Google Play Store, go ahead and enter a Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, that's okay. Create a new account just for this box. After you've entered your email, click next. Then enter your password. If you entered your password correctly, you should get this screen. Go ahead and click accept. It's going to check the info. Click next again. There we go. We're logged into the Google Play Store. Now, all we have to do is go into the search bar up here. You have this white bar that says Google Play. If you click right there and search for Nova Launcher, you'll see this icon here that says Nova Launcher. Go ahead and click right there and install the Nova Launcher. Click Accept. Give it a couple seconds while it uh, downloads and then installs the application. Then we'll go on to the next step. You don't necessarily have to get the Nova launcher. You can go ahead and experiment around with a lot of different launchers and see which one you like. I just happen to like the Nova launcher because it's nice and simple. Most people won't have an issue navigating it. All right, once the application has been installed, go ahead and open it for the first time. They're gonna go ahead and welcome you and we're gonna click next. You can choose from either light or dark and uh, card or immersive. I'm going to leave it on card and uh, button or swipe. We're going to leave it on button. Next, it's going to say select the home app. So I'm going to click Nova Launcher always. And there we go. No more refreshing weather thing on the front. Nice standard Android launcher in the middle down here. We have this circle with the six dots. That's how you get to all apps, right? You can long press on the screen and you can bring up any widgets. You know, so if you wanted a clock or a weather widget, you can go ahead and download one from right here as well. And it's probably going to work better than the one that was on the old launcher. All right, you can also set wallpapers. So if you wanted to change the wallpaper, I like these live wallpapers and uh, I normally go with the black hole. Go ahead and set the wallpaper up. There we go. That's much nicer. Also, if there was an application that I wanted to bring out to the front, when I go into my apps, I just long press on the app and I can drag it and put it anywhere that I want on the screen, making it a much easier setup for me anyways. That's it. We're not going to go into every single feature on this thing. This is just a quick video showing you the easiest, easiest way to get rid of that refreshing weather, get rid of that ugly launcher, forget about uh, anything else. This will work just fine for you. All right, we're going to go ahead and end this video right here. And we were glad to be of assistance. Make sure that you like and share our videos. And definitely make sure that you hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you can tell when we upload our latest videos. We definitely appreciate you watching. We're waiting on your comments below. And as always, have a great day.